My name is Ed Reeves. I'm the engineering manager at Isonine, and today I'm attending the AIA convention in New Orleans. What we're doing today is talking to architects about the use of our Isonine polyurethane foam insulation in applications that they're working on in designs. Our standard product has been the Isonine LDC50 product, and it's been around for more than 25 years. This is a low density open cell foam uh, half pound per cubic foot density with an R value of 3.7 per inch. It's a good insulation material. It's also vapor permeable, which is ideal for applications where you have high temperature and high humidity on the outside, like we have here in New Orleans. So this type of product is used to a large degree in that type of climate. The next product we have is the LDR50. This has got similar performance characteristics to the LDC50, but it is a more of a green product. It's got renewable content with castor oil within the resin material. So that's used where people are looking for a greener product. The other thing that we have done at Isonine is we've expanded the range of products that we have, and we've introduced in the last little while uh, an, L an Isonine MDR200 product. And this is a water blowing open cell foam insulation material as well, but it is a medium density foam at two pounds per cubic foot, and it has a higher R value, and it's got lower vapor permeability. So it's got some performance characteristics that can be used to advantage in the marketplace. The most recent product that we've introduced is a new Isonine MDC200. And this is a closed cell foam, medium density foam. It's a, a product that includes a blowing agent material to develop a higher R value and low vapor permeability. It'll provide for a vapor retarder application within buildings and also higher R value, which is an advantage in limited size cavities. All of these products can be used in a wide variety of building types, including residential and commercial construction. What we're really interested in is the type of performance that we want from the insulation material, and particularly the type of climate that the building is located in. For hot, humid climates, we want the material to be vapor permeable, whereby the building will dry to the interior. But in cold heating climates, we would like to have a vapor retarder material on the building, and therefore the closed cell material with low vapor permeability may be preferred in that type of application. For more information on the Isonine materials, you can go to our website at www.isonine.com.